What's up guys? This is smarthelping.com. We're doing a Google Sheets Gantt chart. If you don't know what Gantt means, it means scheduling. And this is a Gantt. It's not really a chart. I've built it to be a schedule with blocks and I've used formulas to do so. Um but I've tried to make it as simple as possible so it could still be built on if you want to add functionality but it's basically you know fully functional uh, the main use of this is a little bit more dynamic than your traditional Gantt chart it's going to give you color codes based on the crew picked which crew could really be employee um, but the main use of this is going to be for organizations that do contract work like painters, roofers, um, construction jobs, whatever the case where you have, you know, jobs spanning multiple weeks um, or and have multiple crews working on different things. Now I've also added functionality so you can actually make the Gantt chart work on a daily level a weekly level or a monthly level and then it will auto update and all you do is simply enter the start date of the first date you're going to start you know using it and then everything else is drop downs besides naming the job so we've got color codes here for each crew we've got the list of crews which you could put as whatever you want and then we've got our time frames so it's real simple let's say we want to add a job here let's say the uh, house five let's say we want to put crew three on it and the start date you'll see is going to automatically pick the dates that are in our date range here so let's go to weekly and let's say we want to start on the second week of January and it's gonna take two weeks so now we should see yep there it is yellow you see yellow is crew three and it's filling up these weeks now if you think it's only gonna take the two you would actually want to stop it on the 15th because that's saying it's going to take all of the week starting Jan 8 and all the week starting Jan 15. That's just how the logic works. It can be adjusted, um, but that's just how the I standardize the current format. Let's say we have house 22 and we want to put uh, crew 8 on that one. And we also let's, we want to start that one on the 1st and go through to the 5th of February. And there's that color. Uh, let's just let's do another one. House 23. Let's say this is going to start on the 15th and go to the all the way into March. There you go. So this is it is you kind of you get the picture. You can go if I add in if you just want to see all the crews. Let me just do one all the way to ten. Oh, and this is just for your own purposes on the name of the job, just so you know what's what. And then let's just drag these down, and there you go. So you see the color of everything. Now the reason for the color coding is so you can see, make sure no, none of the same colors are overlapping. Then that means you've got some problems. So let's say we have crew, we stick crew two. Well, you see here you've got overlap of this week and this week, these three weeks on this. You've got the same crew schedule for both places. You might want that, you might not, but this will help you visually see all ten crews if you have ten or however many you have and you could really see on a time frame who's doing what and when and where now let's shift this if we shift this to a monthly 
you see how it changes and then if we shift it to a daily because some people some might want to use it on a daily basis and drill down that far well no problem just let it update here and there you go now you can see each color you can see by day what's going on where if you want to drill down that and I've done up to let's see about 50 I think I did up to f one year's worth of time in weeks so 52 slots um, easily this can be extended as far as you want out if you want only to use days and you want to see you know you don't want to keep updating or you could just update every month just put the new start month here so let's say we it's now February you see all this will update and now you can see what's going on starting in February and the reason why that's kinda of slow is because I've got this thing going down with formulas conditionally formatted all the way down to up to 600 jobs job rows now if you don't want to use that many you can easily just delete all the rows you don't want and it will work more quickly I guess that's it. I mean, I don't know what else um, I could think of to tell you about it. It's just two tabs. It's a real simple template, but I think it's really useful and for any kind of organization uh, in really for contract jobs with multiple crews. Now, if you want this template, it is part of my Excel sheets that I sell. So you can see smarthelping.com. I've done a Excel version of this that also had some revenue pipeline stuff in it. But I'm going to put this on the same page. And I'll put the video on there too. The price is a one-time fee of $45. And if you do pay that, I'll send you over um, to Google Sheet. And as a bonus, you'll also get the Excel version that also has a revenue pipeline in it all for the one price of $45 and then if you need my help to get it tailored to fit your specific situation whatever that might be my standard billing rate is $40 an hour and I bill in one hour increments if you want we could set up our uh, you know 30 minute billing I can go down to 30 minutes at times so with $20 at a time uh, depending on how much time it takes to get you what you need alright that'll about do it I hope you guys have a great uh, afternoon or a great day I'm gonna get back to work myself uh, but this is the Gantt chart, Gantt chart in Gantt schedule in Google Sheets